So we tried something we've never done before at Hampton Park Christian School at the end of last week. It was awesome. We did a day that we called Connection Day. And the whole goal of that day was to bring literally the entire school together mm -hmm and better connect with one another between the students and between the teachers and mm -hmm. the students. And the idea we had in mind was to help the older students get to know the younger, the younger, the older. Mm -hmm. It's kind of a hidden leadership development program for the older students. Mm -hmm. I know I found it so humorous as we were going into this new day we've never done before, where the uh, older students told me they were a little bit nervous. They weren't quite sure how they were going to do with the kids. And the kids were a little bit nervous to meet the older students. But I know you felt like I did because we talked about it. But tell me a little bit about how you felt after the kids initially met each other in groups of one older and two mm -hmm. younger and walked up toward the first event of the day. It was awesome. I I didn't expect the emotional feelings that I was going to have. Came out and I happened to see a 10th grader running down with a sign that was go green and reaching out for his kindergartner that he was going to be with for the day. Um, I overheard a ninth grader telling one of his third grade students, you know, you're going to love Mr. Dickinson. He is an amazing teacher. And it was so neat to watch the interaction between these these two age groups and, and see, you know, how they were connecting with them. They broke the ice right away. And I saw so many older students with two little ones hand in hand, mm -hmm. smiling mm -hmm. and talking and getting to know each other. I was so proud of the older kids yes. and the younger ones were just eating it up. And then we went right into probably the highlight of the whole day for me, where we gathered together for worship mm -hmm. and we sang together. I've never heard singing like that before. And that was when I really teared up mm -hmm. um, to see those older and younger singing out worship songs to the mm -hmm. Lord. Um, and then we heard a short devotional and prayed together and went out to the game, which was something to behold. And then we went out to the field for a big team game. I was amazing at how well all the students were able to be involved, whether they were the five-year-olds all the way up to the seniors at 18. It was amazing to see the fun that they had. But one thing I noticed more than any other was again, the older and the younger kids mm -hmm. spending time with each other, getting to know each other. In fact, sometimes they weren't quite as interested in the game as they were just playing and getting to know each other during it. It was amazing. And then we ended the day back up in the auditorium where we had scoring for the day and cheers from the three teams that were competing mm -hmm. against each other. And my last memory was of some of the five-year-olds walking out either cheering or, or maybe crying. they were crying a little bit because their team didn't win. Yes. And the older ones comforting them and encouraging them. Um, it was an amazing, amazing day at Hampton Park.